Hello everybody, my name is Anselm and welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2, Episode 2, as France. Uh, as you might be able to tell, I don't know how obvious it is, but I did change the resolution from last episode, because last time I did it in 1080p. Well, for one, I wasn't even going to upload in 1080p, so I don't know why I did that. And two, it's just made the game run smoother, because now it's running at 45, which is a lot better, or it's running better, because like last time, it was running at some point at like... I don't even know, it was like... <laughs> I think it dropped down to like 8 FPS at some point. I don't know why, it just kind of did. So we are going to be playing at... Uh, just It's not 720p, it's like slightly larger. It's whatever, six, it's 16 by 9, just the one up from 720. So it's like 1366 by 768 or something, I don't know. It's all like that, it's the same resolution I was playing Civ 5 at. So it shouldn't be too big of an issue. But what were we doing last time? I remember last time we took over Tunis, we had to take over part of Algeria. And that's about it. I don't, I can't say, I don't know what else has happened. Austria did take that, which is just common. Texas won the War of Independence. But other than that, I don't know if anything major happened last time. So, like I said in the first episode, I am probably not going to be trying to expand into Africa. Even though I don't have to worry about that. It's only uh, 1838. I don't have to really have to worry about that until like 18, like 70, if I, if I, if I kind of rush the technology. But I'm not going to. So until like, I don't have to, either way, I don't have to worry about the, like the 1870s. So that's still like 30 years away. So it's going to be a little while till then. Uh, we're going to get a little bit more consciousness. Like the consciousness is red. Like, so it implies that it's a bad stat. But personally, I don't think it really is bad. I actually think it's good because it does give you extra uh, plurality. Or plur plurality? I don't know how you actually say it. One sec. It's plurality, isn't it? Uh, politics. Yeah, pl plural out. But I'm not good. I'm just gonna stop trying to say that. But it does get that higher. Uh, local con. Let's we'll get more liberals. I like liberals because they allow you to pass things. Like the conservatives and stuff are better for like war because they allow you to spend more money and get more soldiers and whatnot. But I do like improving all of these. Like I do having. I like having them all at the very bottom just to get the best out of the best. Uh, Bavaria has been. I've been discredited there. That kind of sucks. I'm gonna see my economy. Yeah. A lot of money. I really don't. I probably could lower the taxes here. Yeah, 65. We'll go here to 40. Then here maybe to 50. Is that a possibility? I don't know. There's a lot of poor people. They give me a lot of tax. So that's that's fine for now. Uh, we will influence with grief change. With I don't want to lose prestige, so I'm gonna just take the little infamy hit. So I can easily just increase these during times of war, which it's inevitably going to go up when that happens. Let me just see who Spain allied with. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, let me just see, am I justifying any wars? No. Do I have any costs? Bellies. Uh, I do not. I'm allied with most of the world, or most of Europe, that is. So basically all that really matters right now. I don't have to worry about the United States or the Ottomans or anything like that. Especially since the Ottomans usually are garbage anyway. But I was thinking, I'm going to try to probably expand into Spain, because Spain is definitely going to be weaker than Prussia and Austria. Since it's, I don't even border Austria. Also, last time I remember that St. Piedmont took this, like, eastern Switzerland, which I found very, very odd. I don't know why they did that. I'm just going to see. Yeah, they don't really have too strong an army. Ooh, a lot of people die there. We'll just negotiate with the leader. And then we will, you know, relieve the farmers. Okay, so we got a... Uh, like farming upgrade done. I'm just gonna see what else we need. Supply limit, that's simply gonna be good for defending this border because these guys right now are suffering from attrition. So I guess uh, the supplies, what, 18,000 would make sense? I don't know. What is it? Before it was 20, what is it now? 20. Uh, do that. Before it was 20, now it's. I don't know why these guys are still suffering attrition because they're under 20,000. Why are it mountains? I'm at 20, but they're at 90. I don't know why they're taking attrition, but so we got these guys defending the Prussian border because I'm at some point they're probably going to go for this territory, which I think they do have. Yeah, they have a core there for the German Empire. So at some point they're probably going to take that and you get the whole you know Franco-Prussian war going on. Hopefully we're going to win that. I don't want to lose, and I because I really don't want Germany to form. I'm pretty sure they can form without it, but that would just make it easier for them. So wait, let me just Spain, Spain, Spain. Can I not? Why can't I justify? And that's Tibet. I don't care about Tibet. Tibet's all the way over in Asia. 
Why did- no, stop that. I probably keep double clicking, right? Yeah. Just if I wore... Relations too high. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's just decrease relations. It should probably take, what, two more... Two more shots of decreasing, and then we could probably take one of these territories. I don't know which. This looks like a... Is this one territory? It is. I want to take this territory just because it makes my country look a lot nicer and bigger. What's that? Bavaria? We can increase or maybe decrease. Do that. Remove from the Austrian sphere. Okay. So now they're just kind of an independent country. Hopefully we can add them to our sphere. But that's not what I need. I need one of these countries in my sphere. Like, what, like just one of these tiny countries would probably stop Germany from forming. Hmm. Maybe Holstein? Maybe I can get the. Maybe you go to war with Denmark and get Holstein as a puppet of mine. So that I cannot allow the German Empire to form. Because I'm pretty sure they need Holstein. Still gonna try to maybe do that. That sounds like a plan, maybe. Just decrease relations. There we go, 60. Gotta do that one more time. So I'm. F I'm I can't believe I'm fifth in military. It kind of sucks. Build army. Yeah, whatever. We can build a lot of guys. Let's get more. African infantry, and then we get that, and then maybe one cannon. Improve our, our our military up here in France. This is a defender once again. Defender boards a bit, and make sure that the enemy uh, just make sure I can basically steamroll whoever I need. Send in the troops. I don't want militancy because that's just bad. That just leads to rebels. Everything else is fine. Uh, what's this? Liberals. Uh, militancy. Look at that. At some point, I'm probably going to want to annex Algeria as well. Why can't I? Tr oh, I got a truce with them. Okay, that makes sense. Apparently, everyone's at war with Bolivia. I don't know what Bolivia did. But I think they're out... Where's, uh... Yeah, they're just at war with South America. The, the, the entire continent's just at, against them, so... They're definitely going to be losing that war. But, but they're both being attacked by who? Brazil and Argentina to claim some of their cores. Okay. Oh, 3%. Tunis. Maybe I should add Brazil to my sphere of influence. So they do have some territory right here, so I do border them. And Brazil's a powerful ally to have in South America. They won't they won't really help out a lot elsewhere. But when I did play a Spain, if you saw the first episode, I didn't show that little Spain game at the beginning. Well, I didn't show it, I just showed the map a bit. They did help me a lot with this with the a war with the Netherlands I had. So they actually are kinda nice. They will actually ship troops over. Which a lot of other countries probably wouldn't even do. Like, the United States probably wouldn't because they're, you know, jerks. Who am I losing to right now? The United States? How did they get second? Weren't they, like, They start off as, like, 10th. Now they're second. Gain one prestige, gain two prestige. And in increase relations. Okay, I'll do that. Sounds much better. Apparently I have a lot of people dying. Or at least leaving. Uh, civilization. No, migration. Yeah, how many people are leaving? People are leaving to Mexico. A lot of people are leaving to Mexico. Yeah, okay. Rankings, yes, party loyalty. Let's go back to political map mode. Can we... Oh, I've still got to do this. I keep forgetting. Like, it probably doesn't take that long, but I always forget. Oh, I'll do that. What's that? We'll be removed. Something happened, but somewhere is no longer be a liberal country or a liberal territory. I just want to pass those reforms. Like, I don't really care about anything else in that whole... any of this. I just want... Oh, I can actually get another reform. 15% want that. Who... What are the movements? Get rid of slavery and universal voting. 7.8... 409. What's a more radical group? The... 18... What are they at? It doesn't even say. But I kind of don't want slavery, but they are good for cheap uh, production. That's you know, I kind of... Let's just go with that. There we go. And continue. What? Jacob uh, Revolutionaries. Oh, dear. How many rebels are in the country, actually? Movements... Well, there's one brigade ready to fight, but there's a ton of them. 144,000 people? 144,000, that is... That is like, that's quite a lot. Just by a war. Uh, choir state, 11. Hopefully we don't get discovered too soon. So hopefully we can get it to a winner where, where it's at least less than 5. So at least halfway there, I don't care if I'm discovered. 
but I don't want to be like where I am now, like the one percent. So it's kind of it's gonna have a huge infamy hit. So I'd rather if you could somehow get all the way through, like that'd be amazing. But I really don't see that happening. What the hell's gonna rearrange? Oh wait, no, they're starting. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot I had a 69,000. How did I? I still don't even know how I really got that loan. I say do because I wasn't paying attention. I was losing a ton of money. So I'm making $775. Okay. Oh, I'm not spending a bunch of my natural stockpile. Wait, wait. Uh, we will fight. No, we'll go pro military. 9.9. Oh, at least that's better than the 11. But it's still kind of garbage. Well, of course it's garbage because it's more than I wanted. I like maybe like a seven would have been fine. Wait, what? The end of the revolution, broken, busted, and thrown us. Vince, French. Any problems? It's not a colonial state. A lot of people lose military, and we create prestige. I don't know why. Something about some sort of revolution. But it's all good. Uh, lip, sure. I don't even know where Nancy is. It's probably somewhere around here. I, I, I'm just taking a guess because I know Nice is there. Nice is, I guess, how it's actually pronounced. So... Ed, wait. No, okay, I thought that was it. But it's apparently not. Let's get all these... Hey! Uh... What are we doing? Uh... We'll go with Charity's good. No. We're not gonna... Wait, we don't want to make it atheist country, at least not yet. Maybe if we become like some sort of communist nation, then sure we can do that, but right now, no. Wait, no, you guys stop that. You, nope, stop, go back. I didn't mean to do that. Why is there 25,000? Weren't they just, unless supply limit increased? No, but, but they got more troops back, and eh, whatever. Yeah, cause supply limit research not even done yet. Hey, uh, full citizenship. Merge. Are these guys just one unit? They are. Okay. Then we're gonna have these guys merge. 21. Probably put them on the Prussian border. I think I'm turning down the resolution actually didn't help at all, but you know, whatever. It helped a little bit, at least when I'm zoomed out. It's not all framey. Who's colonizing out the Americas? So does. I don't know how long. Eventually, the United States is going to be declaring war with Mexico. Because that always happens. Increase relations, yes. 27%. 240 days. Ooh, that's still like a year away. So, yeah. So I'm trying to think. Let me look. Hey! We're going to have a secularized ranking, priority, loyalty. Pop no. Where is region? Revolt risk region. So I'm just gonna look at here. What I think, yeah, like this seems like a good territory, but what does it have any uh, factories in it? It doesn't. That doesn't have any factories either. It looks like they're building a navy. Our trade must be protected. Uh, no, free trade. Nobody in the country wants, uh, what do you call it? Trade in only this one area? I don't know. I probably should have read it. It's not, it's the opposite of free trade, basically. Uh, I'm gonna support because I don't like slavery is bad. And there's only I only have like one territory that has slavery, right? Actually, I might have one, some of these French colonies. I don't know where they are because I can't see them because of this map on them on. Planned economy. Who wants how many? Eh, we'll go with that. But I think I'll take here and then maybe this coastline. Like if I take take two territories, it probably be, might be these two. But I know I'm going to take this one, for sure. But then I'll, maybe later I'll figure out which one of these provinces has, or has, um, some sort of, like, factories. That's the word I was looking for. Some sort of industry. The shoulders do need better food. Then eventually we probably can annex Algeria at some point as well, hopefully quite soon. Just to get a nice little foothold in Africa, but not too big. Maybe even take some of Morocco. Maybe, like, uh, let me just go back to that map mode. Like, maybe just Morocco and here. Like, just have a nice little tippity top. Maybe even take part that from the Ottomans. 
interventionally. Interventionalism. So maybe we'll just take all of this from the Ottomans, and then we'll have a nice little foothold into Africa, but not something like too far, like over here, because I always, because usually, at least once again, I played vanilla, so I don't know how different it is in this one. But usually, you'd always get a lot of like soldiers being built in Africa, so I always like to ship them back to Europe, where they'd actually be a lot more useful. But when I was playing as like one game, maybe as Prussia or something. I had this territory, and getting it from there all the way around was annoying until someone built a Suez Canal. But either way, it took way too long, and I always kind of usually forgot to do that. Actually, what was that? I was playing as Texas, and I, had, and I had that colonized. It was one of the two, I don't remember. So I'm guessing, yeah, these places all have slaves, yeah? Hmm. I still am not part of India, don't I? Does India have slaves? No, India does not have slaves. Anyway, we're gonna go back into France. See trade. I don't. I don't even know what this mini even is, so I probably shouldn't be looking at it. So I wonder if I have enough troops. How many troops does? Twenty-one. I have seventy, so I'm definitely outnumbering them a lot. Uh, negotiate. Bolivia. How how destroyed did Bolivia get? Ah, uh, they took over that part of Brazil. Okay. I can actually pass another law. Hmm. Interesting. So I guess we're gonna go with that. We're just gonna outlaw slavery outright. There we go. Slavery is now gone. Didn't even have didn't have really any hit on the economy either. There might be a little bit, but that's that's nothing to really be concerned about. And then we can once again increase our opinion with Brazil. And then they are now friendly. And then after that we will be able just to um completely sphere them. And then maybe get Brazil. Like, one thing I like to do is just have, like, countries invade other countries for me. Just so I could, like, take them over, basically. Like, if I wanted to annex Paraguay or something, this for example, and I had Brazil sphere. I can basically just tell Brazil to attack Paraguay and annex it for me. I'm not going to annex Paraguay, because that's just dumb and stupid. But if I wanted to, like, if I was Brazil, or if I'm me... And I was like, I want to sphere all these countries, but I don't want to spend the time to. I can just probably get Brazil to attack them all and get them under my sphere of influence. And then I can basically have all of, Brazil, all of South America under my sphere. Maybe not the most useful, but you know, it's always better than not, you know, not having anything under your sphere. Like, who's under my, who's in my sphere right now? Only the Papal States. Okay. Is anyone trying to influence the Papal States? Probably. And I'm not doing anything about it. Austria is. Yeah, it makes sense, because that's say, the territory around. Did I have another one of these? Wasn't another one of these supposed to be in my sphere? I don't know, but we'll probably get them in my sphere, too. I, I said that before I was probably going to attack them, but, you know, having them under my sphere is just as good. Just gets a nice little area. Uh, it seems like... <sighs> sure. Maybe I can try to pop it some countries, because when I, once again, like, I played vanilla, you weren't allowed to attack countries and make them your puppets. And I'm probably going to try to also do that with other countries. Just like, cause they probably, it doesn't have as strong of an infamy boost or infamy downgrade. Like if I want to take over Switzerland right now, it'd be, it's potentially it would take 22 infamy to take that. But if I just make them a, like a puppet, I think it's only like maybe eight at max. So it's much easier to do that. Also, you don't even need to do it with um, countries that only have one. Like. When I played as Spain, the first thing I did was try to puppet Portugal. I don't know why, maybe just so I had a Spain written across this one area instead of having this little green dot over here. It'd still be green, but just have Spain written in it. So that's basically why I did that. Okay, we got our Costa's belly. If Sp if they're not allied, they're allied with St. Piedmont. I'm not worried about St. Piedmont. I probably could have just done that, thinking of it. We could have broken our alliance, which we had to do anyway. And now I'm gonna just fire war Switzerland and make them a puppet. Make puppet. Yeah, only seven. Wow. 250 days make a puppet. Actually, maybe not. I don't know. Switzerland's pretty small. Like, is it possible? Like, I, I don't know who it's possible to just make puppets on. Like, these people. Could I make them a puppet? I could. 270, 70 for me. Who are they allied with? Spain and Baden. Biden? I'm gonna try to puppet. Uh, Sardinia Piedmont. So, so I'm just gonna try to puppet them. And then maybe puppet, puppet Switzerland after that. 
So then we'd probably have France written like this or something. So instead of having to take over, it's actually pretty easy to just uh, puppet everything instead of having to sphere it all or just outright own it. Okay, now I got to declare war 13th February. What is today? Second. Okay. So I should probably try moving some troops down here. Just thinking about it right now, I'm kind of concerned that Prussia might attack me during this war with Spain. 6.8. Ooh, I'm at 20. I only have, I only have like four infamy to spare, so I have to wait a while. After, after, well, just from now, I gotta wait a while before I can really do anything else in terms of, you know, the theory of war. I might be able to free a puppet or, or might be able to free a country because those don't really take a lot of infamy. Anyway, it's, uh, declare war, acquire that state, what state do I want? What's it called? It isn't, it is called Varsinia, Akka, whatever. Arsenia. There we go. 48. Call allies. Who's likely? The Papal States. And Belgium might. But everyone else doesn't know, so I'm not going to call them in. Let's see, is who's anyone going to join the war? St. Piedmont's. Okay, so no one's going to join. So now we can just push straight into Spain. Not really to worry about anything. They might mobilize, but they might not because I'm not going to. Unless it's, you know, necessary. Oh, they did. So that means they have how many? 57 brigades. You know, I'm going to mobilize. Let's mobilize. That might destroy the economy. Yeah, it basically did. We're going to march. Yeah, you march our guys through. Get down here. You. 18. Come on down. Where's my... I need to probably build a navy, thinking of it. Uh... Commons Raider? Those kind of suck, aren't... Don't they? Yeah. How long until Dreadnoughts? Just, just discover Iron Steamers. I'll just build Man of War in Europe. 28th. Okay. Nope. I'll just build 28 Man of Wars. Probably going to cost a ton of money, but you know, I don't really care right now. Uh, are they marching in the... Oh, they are too. Okay. We're going to need that to reinforce this area, because it's definitely going to be taken up. Or, we're going to be attacked. And we're going to be at a disadvantage. And I don't want to be at a disadvantage, because that means I'm at a disadvantage. You see the issue here. Because I do. Uh, 31. 43. How am I still at the supply limit? Okay, excellent. We'll get muzzle load, load rifles to make our infantry a bit better. Why is our morale so low? I don't know, but hopefully they will increase it. We won. Oh, we won somehow? It just said we were losing. Well then, we'll just march our guys up here and then have those guys go there. You go there. You march. You go. Let's try to take as much territory as humanly possible. These guys, I'm just going to leave them there because I don't think I'm going to need them. Like, I can't think of a reason why they're going to be important to me. Ooh, that might have been a bad idea. Yeah, that's... That's definitely not the best way to handle this. We're going to get a little bit of reinforcements, but that's not going to help the situation at all. We're definitely going to lose that battle. So let's just pull a bit more soldiers down. Because they're, they're just farmers and whatnot, so it doesn't really matter if they die to attrition or not. They're not our professional armies. So they're going to march on here. And then I'm going to reinforce... Or they're not. They're actually going to attack... Oh, I wasn't expecting that. They attacked a completely different location than I thought. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to reinforce this battle. This battle is pretty much lost. 3.8. Ooh, that's bad. Uh, where is... Okay, so what's that? Negative 3? It's you know, not working out great in my favor. This, could, this war could have gone a lot better. Well, it's not like it's going bad, but, you know. Still... We could not be losing. Uh, you guys all march here. They don't even care. They don't even care. Hmm. Naturally, a new factories can only be good. Yeah, we like factories. We like industrialization. There's a whole revolution about it. Like, why would he not want it? Oh, 
Hopefully we'll win this battle. Like, we are... We got the green number, so I assume that's good. Green's always good. Uh, do that. You guys march here, I guess. And then that's basically... I guess we'll get the you guys down here, too. Might as well. I didn't really expect to lose this many guys to, um... Spanish. But again, I guess. It's, then again, it's not, you know, a lot. Uh, come on, come on, get there. In time, 2.5? Okay. We're going, we're basically just going to try to crush the Spanish army. Here we go, we won again. Just hold that territory, guys. Because once they have no army, I can basically just spread all these guys everywhere. To the point where it doesn't matter. Come on, come on, come on, get there, get there. Come on, there we go, okay. We're both in the white. So basically, we're gonna, well, we're slightly winning. We, we, we're double their numbers. So we should win. So you guys go there, okay. What are these guys, what are these nine guys doing? They're not doing anything, you go there. We need to crush the Spanish. Yeah, just help the sick or whatever. Who's the Republicans are back in charge? Okay. So we're gonna don't tax the rich, increase our taxes everywhere else. There we go. Well, I mean the rich, the poor people have to be taxed more so the rich people can get all the benefits. Because we need those factories. We not we need that economy. We don't want to be a poor nation. We don't want to be a poor. Wow. That was a lot of guys. Five... Am I losing this war? 2% still. Hmm, I wonder if they're gonna win that war. That's gonna be a huge kind of political map change in South America if that happens. All you march... It's Bavaria. Oh, I can add them to my sphere now. Uh, add sphere. Done. And now, I'm just... No, I, there's no reason to call Bavaria into this war. It makes no sense, really. Come on, don't you die on me! Like, how many guys do, the, do they have? 48 still? How do they have 48? Where are all their troops? Like, I don't even know. Are they all here? Is there just a bunch of Spanish guys? I'm not... No, there's two. Once again, I don't really care about the attrition. They can all die, for all I care. March here, then go somewhere. Like, where are all their troops? There? No, they're going... They're going in the... I can't even read where they're, where they're going. That kind of sucks. Hmm. Some more guys there. Just crush them. Crush them beneath the mighty French boot, and I'm hearing the dog barking. Yeah, I don't know how well that picks up on the microphone. Yeah, that's, that's probably pretty clear. I would imagine, at least. Now I'm gonna have to do something about that. So, come on, you guys gotta, you know, do the... Make puppet, okay. Well, I guess, uh, with getting the puppet, CB, I guess this is a perfect time to end the episode. It's not really, I just need to shut that dog up. Uh, so thanks for watching. My name's been Anthony. If you enjoyed, thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy, thumbs down. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff and things from me. Or don't subscribe if you want to see nothing at all. So goodbye.